Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest, and today we're going to be talking about some tips and tricks for the current launch of Tower of Fantasy. So let's go ahead and dig in. <laughs> Now I'm gonna try and go a little bit fast here because I have a lot of information to cover and I think a lot of this you may have heard um, from other people. First thing we're gonna talk about is the infinite jump. Now, if you aren't aware of this, you can jump up onto a wall, hit control, double jump, hit on the wall, control, double jump, and you can keep making your way up the wall without costing stamina. This is a really great tool in a lot of different situations and I would highly recommend that you go ahead and go about doing this wherever you go. Now, there's a lot of people who are asking about what the daily routine is, because right now we're running into a bunch of level caps, we're running into story caps, right, where you can't really progress and unlock all of the dailies currently right now. And the best advice that I can give you is actually to look forward. And we were talking about this on stream today. So when you go ahead and pull up your dailies over here uh, and you go to the select missions, for example, join operation is one of the few operations that are going to give you access uh, to equipment as well as uh, potentially matrix chips besides bosses. But if you click ahead, you'll see when you do get to level 25, you also unlock good equipment options you also unlock purple matrices so very important if you are on the eve tonight of potentially hitting level 25 or if you're a new player that's about to hit that next level tier uh, make sure you check what the drop list is for the tier above because these dailies do require the energy up here in the upper right hand corner uh, and it does take quite a long time to refill this bar uh, of course i would recommend doing the recommended non-stop uh, one thing a lot of people don't realize i think is that you can do all of the ruins uh so going through and doing all of the ruins they're basically like you get a free clear of them essentially they're not things that you do over and over again. I think a lot of people think they are like uh, Genshin Relic farming places. They're really not. You just do them once, you're one and done. Uh, and you can actually get through quite a bit here. And don't be caught off guard because there is a normal difficulty as well, which unlocks at level 25. And there is of course a hard difficulty which unlocks at level 36. And of course the level changes on these. So make sure you pay attention. This is a great way to get some additional items that you may not know about because there's a lot of stuff that is hidden within kind of the menus of this game. Uh, in terms of the weekly, a lot of people don't realize that you can get uh, the type three chips here. Now, what do type three chips do? Type three chips open the boss chest. Now, what are the boss chests? Well, if you go here and you take a look at the bosses, we of course have Robarg right here. We have a couple other bosses scattered throughout the map, but the bosses actually have a potential uh, to drop an SSR weapon weapon or a random SSR weapon or a uh, specific matrix. So if you're wanting to farm, for example, King's Matrix, you would kill Robarg consistently. You can also get some purple matrices. I have gotten actually a couple of the Robarg matrices uh, for my characters. And I do tend to get a lot of the purple shards uh, for my missile barrage. So if you are looking at farming something specific, whether it's a relic or whether it's a weapon, uh, definitely make sure to do these. Now, a lot of people wonder, can you keep farming the bosses nonstop? You can keep farming the bosses nonstop, but really what happens when you do start farming them over and over and you don't have the type three chips, uh, you get a significantly, a significantly increased um, drop basically, like you get a drop nerf, and you also get these items called support points. And the support points really aren't that great. You can use them to weekly acquire 10 black nucleus, and that's really all you're going to be using them for. So uh, keep that in mind if you are running out of your type three chips, it may not necessarily be in your best interest to just non-stop spam the bosses. And I'm sure they'll introduce different ways to get these type three chips as we go into the future. Uh, now, we talked about dungeons, we talked about dailies, uh, we talked about the infinite jump. Let's talk about real quick uh, bundles. Uh, so a lot of people have asked what bundles to buy, um, whether you need to pay, whether you don't need to pay. I think a lot of people have been focused on re-rolling right now and that's fine. Uh, in terms of the shop bundles, I would definitely recommend uh, the $10 or 10 pole five pack, the monthly pass as well I would recommend. 
I know a couple people who are going for this and going for the dollar five pull. Again, the dollar five pull is good as well. Uh, the daily supply box, you may not know this, but there's a daily reward in here. Uh, so you can grab that every single day. I think these are good, but once you're getting to the point where you're pulling on these, this is really going to be whale territory. Uh, and I would really stay away. The black cubes, make sure you're spending them on the red nucleuses. Do not waste them on the orange nucleuses. I would not go that route. Similarly, don't waste them on the matrices because you have a lot of opportunities to get matrices from a lot of different sources. And I think people are like, they're tempted. They're tempted by this offer right here, which is like for 1080, you can get 10 matrix poles. Don't do that. Do not do that. Uh, that is definitely going to be a bit of a trap. Now, in terms of a couple of quality of life things and things where you're hitting the cap and you're not sure what to do, uh, I would definitely go here. And if you aren't in the interactive map, uh, pull up the interactive map, make sure you're hitting the scenic points because you can see I have one out of five scenic points here. I could easily go and grab that and it would get me five more golden nucleus. Uh, I can also come up here to Bongas and I can get the other three scenic points and potentially get a mushroom here for my endurance. So you want to get these mushrooms, you want to get uh, these golden nucleuses. So this is something to do if you are hitting that level cap and you're not really finding much to do. Another thing I would highly recommend is I would recommend getting into cooking. And uh, particularly with the cap where we are at right now, uh, you can't really do a whole bunch of uh, kind of high level food, but you're going to need food that's going to get you by and let you survive. So there's a couple of recipes that I would recommend here. Uh, you can find all of these on the uh, index webpage. Uh, if you do go to the index webpage, um, they have all of the recipes here. Uh, boiled scallops is really easy. Almost all of these are from the ocean slash lettuce. So if you have lettuce and if you have them, if you're able to craft the blue level food, um, you may have to actually craft your own food. Now, what does crafting your own food look like? Uh, I will show you. So we'll head over here and we will go to the cooking. And the reason you're going to want to do this is you can, of course, have a healing weapon set uh, and that can heal you as you are doing PVE content. But there are times where you want to get healing food. And unfortunately, the green food and the rest of the items isn't really going to cut it for most characters. Uh, my character right now uh, at the high level of level 24 has about 50 to 60,000 HP. So you are going to need food that is actually quite substantive. And uh, a lot of the green food doesn't really cover that. So you can come over here to this guy and uh, you can see here that I have boiled scallops, which is three lettuce, two scallops. Uh, I also do the uh, steamed egg with sea urchin, which will give me 20,000 HP and 15% of my HP, which is eggs and sea urchin. Uh, and you can also do uh, steamed crab, which is the crab and the lettuce as well. Now, what I did to do this is you go to creation and then you choose a recipe from the recipes that you want to get. So, for example, uh, let's say I wanted to, uh, there was a recipe that was like, it's this one, it's broccoli and milk, right? It'll tell you a certain success rate, and then you can successfully make that recipe. It will unlock it for you. So there is a little bit of trial and error here, but it's absolutely worth it to get the right amount of food for your character. When you unlock things, you also unlock um, the recipes in this book up here, which does get you some dark crystals, which is great. So it's just overall an aspect of the game that I think a lot of people are ignoring and I think it's really important for you to get in here and do this and I think it is also important as well for people to farm the training points now uh, training points if you aren't familiar with them uh, they are the uh, point store down here uh, and you can use them to acquire special gifts to gift to your weapons right so that you can uh, raise their awakening level essentially uh, and this is pretty easy to do uh, what you do if I can find it because again this is a mess of menus guys uh, if you go to your recommended select challenge so under challenge go to training it's going to pop up a variety of missions that you can do and that you can earn points for every day uh, so you can see I have uh, battle training two unlocked here so that's the one that i did today that i got 200 points for so i went and i farmed that uh, and it was really good and then i need to do my speed training today uh, and that's going to give me 200 to 240 uh, so i would select this and then it'll tell me 
okay, this is the one you need to go to. Make sure you teleport near here uh, and you can get things done there. So you can do this once daily. Make sure not to neglect this. Uh, and this is great stuff to do. Farming ingredients for cooking, uh, doing your dailies that you can do daily, uh, doing bosses, for example. These are all great things to slowly build up the power level of your character as you are kind of blocked um, by this interesting system of you can only level up a certain amount or progress the story in a certain amount per day. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope this helped everybody out, and I will catch you guys all next time.